It's about life expectancy. We've heard pretty much most of my life, the life expectancy for male and female uh, in, in you know, the North American countries, the United States and Canada, hovers around you know, high 70s. It's pretty much been there for a long time. Mm-hmm. I've looked at some graphs where, you know, I think it was 100 years ago, life expectancy was like mid 40s. Right. So, you know, many of us wouldn't be existing Mm -hmm. if if we lived 100 years ago. But, you know, surely, but, you know, surely that trend kept going up to the 50s, mid 50s, 60s, 70s, high 70s. And it seems like it's plateaued to the high uh, in the high 70s to the point now news is coming out in the United States that uh, life expectancy is actually decreasing. Right. It's going down. So when you're born, how long if you give birth right now, how long can someone live right. right, before they die? So what's happened is because of, you know, t- um, advancements in technology and med- uh, medicine and stuff, life expectancy kept going higher and higher, right? So um, it's going down. So we should bring up factors like our poor diet habits, lack of ex- like lack of being active. Those things are caused, like, in general, in the general population. Right. Not when you're 70, but throughout your life, that's causing it to go down. So what do you think, Jason? Well, I, I think number one, it starts with uh, unhealthy diets and people are eating out more, yep. you know, with the advent of Uber oh, and all these delivery services, we have basically restaurant food, which anybody who's done any kind of research knows is not healthy. Even when you pick the salad bowl at Milestones, mm. it's got 8,000 milligrams of sodium, et cetera, <laughs> et cetera. But mm. you're bringing more of that stuff in. You're doing less home cooking. Right now, you couple that with you know more screen time, right? As technology emerges, we're all grateful for the advances as a result of technology advances. But what also comes with that is the um, allure of sitting in front of a computer uh, for longer periods of time, right? More sedentary. So I think you know there's a general trend um, towards just being more sedentary pursuing more sedentary activities, um, consequently less act, less physical activity, yeah. right? And uh, ultimately, look, what, what, anytime you go on a diet, you always hear 80% of the battle is eating healthy, right? And when there's so many, when you're bombarded with, with 50 commercials out of every hour on watching TV or anything on a screen is geared towards plying you with food, <laughs> right. Um, you know, I think it's it, it, it takes a really intentional um, attitude to stay away from uh, unhealthy uh, lifestyles. What do you guys think? I think he he's right in so many ways. Um, but I think right now with the society that we live in, it's always go, go, go. Right. Very busy. There's no there's no chance to slow down yeah. and just relax. So. I think there's an additional stress level that a lot of people yep. are living with right now. Good and point. that takes a toll on you, right? Yes. There's so many different environmental issues that yes. we're dealing with right now. So before, you know, I don't, there wasn't that many cars on the road, but breathing in all these toxic fumes from cars, that can't be good for you over right. the long term, right? right? But again, I don't know what studies are out there to prove, you know, if that's impacted, but I've known people where they lived close to a highway and they had a hard time breathing. The minute they moved at least two kilometers away from that highway, mm. it's gone, right? Mm. So again, you don't know the long-term impact of these things. So there's so many variables with regards to what's causing it. Again, the food's a big one, right? You know, healthy lifestyle, those are obvious things. But again, um, it's, I think it's just the stress. I think it's really, you know, breaking down people a lot harder well, than people realize. I think, I think you guys are right. Like, I think the lack of exercise, right? <clears throat> and then the, as you mentioned, uh, Jason... You're bombarded everywhere you go. The convenience of having, you know, fast food, right? Yeah. Uh, unhealthy food, you know, deals at McDonald's or fast food chains. Um, you know, you get flyers, Uber Eats, press a button, boom, someone comes and, and drops off food, right? So the convenience of, of you know, access to easy food, not having to co- cook, right? Uh, I think that's been and, very addictive. And not even that. I mean, everyone knows you know, limit your McDonald's or your Burger King to once, you know, every two months or whatever. But the things that are marketed as healthy yes. is very, very, yeah. very misleading. Yeah. 
juices. The vast majority yeah. of things on your menu of all fast food right. chains yeah. are technically unhealthy for yeah. you. Yeah. Whether it's fat content, salt is a huge one, mm-hmm. sodium. Mm. And, it tastes and, good and though. It tastes and that's what makes it taste good, right? <laughs> and it's and but you don't really think about that, yeah. especially if if you're eating yeah. that kind of food yeah. five days a week, three days a week. Well, they food. put that on purpose, where it's yeah. like a salad, or they put lettuce on your burger just because they think I'm mean, getting some yes, some <laughs> you know some nutritional benefits here. But <laughs> you might get like you know a few calories of nutritional benefit with like hundreds of calories of of negative things for your body. It, that study, is it saying life expectancy is going down in North America? It would be interesting to see what it is in other parts of the world, South America, Europe. Um, I find in North America, we overindulge. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just the way that our lifestyles have been set up. Like Even if you're going to buy food at the grocery store, your meat is filled with hormones. Mm-hmm. Your your yeah. fruits and vegetables are treated with pesticides right. and eating. Cons- so you can cook yourself because I cook all the time, but you're still over time taking in stuff that your body shouldn't be yep. taking in in the first place. So we're designed. The society is set up for us to to fail and not live very long because um, even if you're not eating McDonald's or yep. or you know buying the salad because you think you're having a salad, but after you add up the dressing and all the other preservatives that they've put in the salad, it's you're better off not eating anything at all. But even if when you're cooking at home, your food is so overprocessed that that's what's causing illnesses and and cancer. So I think it's more of a a, a North American thing. I know I, I I've seen it pop up on my feed where like they're. There are foods that we feed our children, like cereal, yeah. like that are banned in other countries right. because of the ingredients. Right. Right. <laughs> so, well, yeah, cereal is a great example. Cereals, juices. Yeah, they're yeah. not These allowed. things are supposed to be like, you know, healthy. Or yeah. they'll yeah. throw in like a picture or the box will be green. Or throw in like a picture of a forest or, yeah. or some leaf and all yeah. of a sudden like, oh, it's healthy, right? Yeah. That's how we, you know, process right. information, right? Yeah. So quickly, you know, we think that something that's, you know, unhealthy. Oh, it's it's healthy. Yeah. It's it's got vitamins in it. It's got mm-hmm. vitamin C, vitamin D. It's got newsflash, people. Frosted flakes are a dessert, not a cereal. <laughs> 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 Don't get me wrong. I still love my frosted so flakes. So I, I think we cover <laughs> the, uh, the food aspect of it. Uh, uh, you know, quite a bit. So according to Harvard Medical School, mm. um, they uh, you know identify yes uh, health related reasons. So the diet and food. Uh, and exercise, lack of exercise are number one, uh, very uh, important factors. However, some of the things are the impact of COVID-19. When you have a million people that died from COVID-19, um, you know, out of 300 million people in America, that does have a dent on your numbers. Uh, drug that, overdoses. What percentage is that? What's that? Uh, 300 3, million yeah, people. percent But still, right? Like, but that, that's, that's, a, that's an anomaly, right? Yeah. Sure. Unless we start having pandemics once so every 50 or 25 years. Yeah. Right, right, right. Right? Yeah. But, but I, what's more concerning that I see, the drug the overdose. The drug overdose, yes. Like, yes. Wow. Yeah. Well, fentanyl. I think, I don't know if you guys, yeah. we should have another topic on, on right. fentanyl, but it's everywhere now. Um, it's and it's bad. It is very, very bad. Um, and actually, there was someone I knew that passed away from overdose on fentanyl. Really? And, Actually, another person recently that I don't know, but uh, someone that I know very well, uh, so, someone that was in their 30s, you know, OD'd from uh, uh, what they believe is fentanyl, right? So mm. that's, again, mm. good point, Akisha. You know, 1 million out of 300 million, that's a, it's only 0.3%. I think drug overdoses in America is only 100,000. So it's even less. So it's like 0.03%. However, you add all these things up and, you know, right. you're now talking months less and that's all you need to, for the trend to go down. Mm-hmm. Uh, but very, very important uh, uh, to, to consider, you know, these things are making a dent in the numbers, right? Yeah. Drug overdoses, fentanyl, uh, and obviously the big ones that we talked about over and over again. And that's probably the, the biggest key, lack of exercise and uh, poor diet. So it, it, you know, it brings up another question. How are all these drugs getting into the, the country? And how are people getting access to it so easily? Or well, to that's definitely well a different topic people. for a different day. Yeah, um, We got to do it because it is becoming a, a, a crisis. Yeah, um, And uh, I don't think there's any easy end in sight. And it seems like it's coming from overseas mm. Asia, right? And these things are laced with it, like fentanyl specifically. Mm-hmm. It's, it's in the marijuana. It's in, you know, mm-hmm. harder drugs. And uh, you hear of people just like dying. Right, yeah. young people 
doing drugs and boom, yeah. dead. Right? So. Yes, 